What's going on everyone, Ted Tosh coming at you guys with another video. It's gonna be a quick one. So this is gonna be a video on the Ola Dance 5.2 Bluetooth earbuds, but they're not in your earbuds. They're a little bit different. I'll show you guys in a sec. The difference from these is the comfort. Now, my wife purchased these for herself because she has some pretty high-end in-the-ear earbuds. The Sony XM, whatever they are, you know, the thousand, whatever. Everybody boasts how great they are. They're amazing headphones. A little bit on the bulky side, but they're amazing headphones nonetheless. But she has tiny ears and they tend to get a little bit uncomfortable for her because the size of them, like I stated. She was checking these out. She couldn't really find much on these earbuds and I figured, told her, why not just get them? We'll, we'll see if you like them. If you don't like them, I'll do a review, yada, yada, yada. So here we are. They are a over the ear open type headset. So they almost look like old people hearing aids or some type of hearing of, of some sort. So they're not gonna be the stylish earbuds that you might find somewhere else. Even some of the cheaper ones might look a little bit nicer than these. Now the audio quality is good for it not actually going inside your ear. It is loud, you're gonna hear everything very clearly. Yes, the audio is not gonna be as good as some of the higher end earbuds. I mean, they are 150 bucks, so you do get a decent quality audio and you kind of have an open ear setup here. So I can hear everything around me. Obviously you have your controls on the main base station right here where the audio comes out. You tap to play, tap to pause. You have your volume where you swipe up down but the selling point on these is pretty much comfortability and the open you know aware of your surroundings type situation now again if you're someone who has very sensitive ears you really can't find an earbud that stays in your ear maybe you sweat too much who knows maybe there's some type of issues that you just cannot find a perfect type of earbuds you're kind of stuck to something like this now granted they're not the best looking headset they are a little bit on the bigger side especially with this thing sitting underneath your ear but they do what they're intended to do you can hear the audio very clearly sometimes if you have it on full blast people around you will be able to hear what you're listening to to a degree that's something to be aware of if you want to be in a quiet place you can't have these on full blast so they aren't noise canceling so if you want to wear these in like an airplane or some sort you might pick up a lot of background noises that's not gonna be very pleasant for your situation there so they are situational they're not for everybody but they do what they're intended to do which is really nice she did like them. There's a few features that these don't have compared to some of the other earbuds and for the price if you could deal with regular ear in the in the ear earbuds you could get a better set of earbuds but if you're someone who needs some type of special reason why you can't put something in the ear maybe nothing's comfortable then I can recommend these you could definitely run and jog and do all what you need to do and they're not flopping around I can shake my head around they're not flopping around now there's three main pros that I could say these things have over some other earbuds that you might find on the market so for 150 bucks you're getting a 16 0.5 millimeter drivers on the individual earbuds themselves so you're getting high-end quality as far as where it's not actually in your ear but you're still going to hear decent quality coming out of them so you're going to hear everything very clearly again these are situational these are not for people who are looking for the best bass the best quality this is somebody who's looking for comfort battery life and open ear style headphones so that way you can be aware of your surroundings so these do have a 16 hour play time for the earbuds that's crazy 16 hours i can literally go my whole day at work wearing just one pair of earbuds compared to at the moment i had to switch them out so my apple earpods pro 2 lasts about give or take six hours give or take again so anywhere within that and then same thing with these these are a little bit less i want to say probably four to five hours not the greatest so I had to use two pair of earbuds. With these, you're getting a 16 hour play time, which is crazy. Again, because they are situational, I can't recommend these for everybody, especially at 150 bucks. I think they're a little bit on the steep end. I feel like maybe hundred bucks might be the sweet spot for them, but 150 bucks, you're still getting a great product for the person who's looking for this. Again, this is not what I'm gonna recommend over my Apple EarPods Pro 2 or possibly even the Galaxy Buds. I'd probably still say these are gonna be more recommended recommended than something like this. But if you're looking for something that is has amazing battery life, 16 hour playthrough time, that's 
crazy. Definitely can recommend those. Maybe you work in a warehouse or something, drive a machinery of some sort. You gotta be aware of your surroundings. You need something long battery life. Maybe you're someone who just doesn't like charging something all the time. You don't like having something in your ear at all times. It's uncomfortable. That's where these are gonna come into play. So few situations where these are gonna be great for someone over some other pair of earbuds. So these are USB-C as well. So you are gonna be able to use all your typical cables to charge this. It is a little bit on the bigger side as far as the case compared to something like all the other ones. Again, these have cases on the case. If you look at these as some of the comparators, it's definitely on the large side. Again, these aren't perfect. For 150 bucks, you're gonna get what you pay for. You're not, you know, paying a premium price, but you're still paying a little bit more than what some people might wanna pay for a third type party earbuds that aren't like Sony or Bose or something like that. Can I recommend them? If you're someone who needs something that's not in the ear, if you're someone who needs crazy long battery life, they fit on the ear just fine. They're comfortable, they're lightweight, they charge USB-C. You have your touch controls, you have the open ear setup. So it gives you everything that they are utilized for. They're also 5.2 Bluetooth, which is nice. So you can connect them to multiple devices. So you're getting a decent amount of features for the price range without going over to the premium side. So I can recommend them. They're not my choice of earbuds, but if you're someone who were looking for these and this is something that you think you would use and you're worried about if the quality is good, it's fine. 100% can recommend it for the quality. Other than that, that's gonna do it for this video. It's a quick one, like I said. I just wanted to get a video out there for people who are looking for this type of headset because I didn't find much out there. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Y'all stay nerdy. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.